What is up gamers? Thank you very much for checking out this episode. Uh, just a quick recap in this series. I am slowly but surely maxing my account. I'm not going to make you guys watch a lot of skill and content, mostly just when I'm recording something like this. Uh, last time, we were focusing on getting the Twisted Ancestral pieces and making some money to buy full Torva. Got basically no dollars, but uh, we did get one of the Ancestral kits, which is nice. Um, yeah, not a lot more to say. I think I'm going to be focusing a lot on some of the uh, combat achievements. Just doing some, like, RuneScape chores in this. I keep getting pets on mobile while I'm doing some other stuff. I actually just got this Rift Guardian, like, ten minutes ago on mobile, so I hopped over here to, to make a quick intro to this video. Um... But yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of everything, and I think to start things off, I'm going to be working on finishing off some of these diaries. Uh, Western, um, seems pretty bad. i got to do 700 chompies really quick here, but that's also a really quick pet, so I'm just going to do that 700 and see how many it takes to get the pet. I think the pet's 1 in 500, but you can pluck a chompy for a second chance, so it's really like 1 in 250. I was looking at uh, No Monkey's Guide, and it looks like uh, he's getting like 300 an hour with plucking, so realistically, the pet should be about a one-hour pet after we get to... Um, get the elite diary done. So um, let's hope we go on rate, or uh, maybe a little bit spoon fed on that. Or uh, honestly, even if we don't, it's like one hour per 300. Shouldn't be too bad. Behold my chompy genocide. And this should be our 1000th chompy. What a grind. Uh, absolutely terrible. But let's check the bow real quick here. Yep, we are an ogre expert. Just got a quick few tasks to finish up for this. Here we go. We made the longbow. Awesome. Just got to visit our buddy Rance. Wait, I don't want to buy his bow. What do we do? I have to, like, use the bow on him. Oh, there we go. We're going to bomb the clan chat here. Oh, hell yeah. And that has only three or you know, four collection log slots. We broke 300. I guess we were already over 300, but always good to see. And we got the Elite Western done. I'm just going to immediately go and start working on the Chompy Pet. Collection log slot completed. Fuck yeah, finally. Actually, we almost... I might have gone exactly on rate for that. Oh, three under. Three under. Might as well kill off all these guys for uh, later collection log slots. But uh, that is sick. The grind is over. Um, took about one hour. Yep, it's the one hour pet. I don't know what else to say about it. Feels good to be back. I might sound a little bit off. I have been away for about two weeks now. A uh, week of that with uh, the COVID. Finally got it. I think I had it a few times before this in the past, but this is the first time that I test positive and all that stuff. So. Uh, got really sick, finally feeling better. Gonna kick everything off here with just uh, finishing up the Lumbridge Hard Diaries. Ooh, that's loud. That's loud for me. I turned it off for you guys, but uh, yeah, that's actually Hard and Elite done, so I uh, can. Ooh, getting some grats from the boys in the chats. But uh, just gonna go and uh, get all that EXP, and I think we're gonna dump it in mining. I. Uh, can't stand mining so that's gonna be where it's all going from uh for at least the time being i'm just popping these lamps right into mining like i said a minute ago um cool thing about this and the reason that i did it is that you no longer have to use the draymond staff for fairy rings i need to do abyssal sire for the combat achievements which led me to doing the lumbridge diary uh kind of always a chain of events with stuff like that so we're finally done no more draymond staff saves an inventory spot uh for this task and just basically for everything forever so definitely worth getting out of the way about to do some sire to do the uh, combat achievements and uh just had to say something fucking look at this thing all right well we got some anyways uh okay i yeah, just won Next up, I'm going to make sure that he doesn't uh, have any of his scions mature. Just going to be killing them off 
in a strategy that I saw on Reddit. So uh, let's see if this works out. Hey, we got it. Kind of unconventional in a missed avenge, but there it is. Got a little Barrow's task. I don't have very much filled in on the collection log with this, so wish me luck. Hey, we got a slot coming through. Well, it's just good look us. Oh, shit! And that's a good one. Man, two slots in a... In seven chests, not bad at all. Got us a gargoyle's task. I'm gonna go for the uh, Grandmaster achievement for the speed runs for the grotesque guardians. I'm just gonna do uh, these three rings worth. So what is that? 17 kills, and then I'll just speed through the rest of this task if I can't get it in those. That's good, that's good. Oh shit, we got it. Oh, finally. And the collection, oh, and the collection log slot. I have finally gotten a Kraken task. Uh, took ages to get this. Um. So I did the 100 kills in the privately rented instance on mobile really quick. And the only one that I have to do now is I have to kill the four tentacles. Looks like this guy. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Um, this one's stupid, but should be easy enough. And yeah, that's the hard tier complete. Um, Elite's where stuff really starts to get interesting, so... Looking forward to starting that. So I finished the rest of my Kraken task while on mobile, and we got the pet. A little guy. Um, I, I know it's just a Kraken pet. It's like one of the most common ones in the game, but uh, this count is 6,400 kill count. Then my Iron Man's another 1,800 on top of that. So I've done a lot of Krakens without the pet. Um, so really, really nice. Uh, nice to see that there. I've actually never killed a Basilisk Knight on this account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this for the Elite Achievement. Combat task completed. Easy enough. Combat task completed. Combat task completed. Hey, we got two for that one. Just cruising through these, uh, these Elite Achievements. Just a little bit of an explanation here. Uh, for this combat achievement, I need to kill the mole in four instances of damage. Uh, zeros don't count, so it's just whenever damage appears on the boss. Uh, low HP Darox seems to be the best bet for this one. Okay, second try. Super easy with Darox. Uh, zeros don't count, so the accuracy of the Twisted Bow doesn't really matter. Uh, just use DH. For this next task, I have to beat... Ziliana or Sardaman God Wars with melee only. I tried looking up some guides. It doesn't really seem like there is one out there. Maybe I should make one. But um I'm just gonna go with Max Melee. I brought the ZGS to Freezer so I can kind of like uh step in and out, make sure she's only hitting me with mage, which I'll be protected against. So wish me luck. Here goes nothing. Not too confident about this one, but uh we will get it done. Yo, that wasn't really that bad of a task. Um, obviously not a viable way to kill the boss, but yeah, could have been worse. This one's a speed run of Galvec from the Dragon Slayer 2 quest. Uh, time to beat is three minutes, so we're just bonking him with the lance here.
combat task. Hell oh, yeah, we got it by. Oh my god, it's a whole minute faster than my last try. Zooming. Next, I gotta get a sub four minute kill on the fragment of Sorrent. <clears throat> I've opted to do the scythe method. Uh, the wiki said it's more reliable. Um, we'll see. Uh, if not, I can always switch over and do the magic method and uh, we'll figure out how that works. Hell yeah. Was our time? Oh, <laughs> we destroyed that by like a whole minute. Sick. Okay, next up we got the glow speed trials. I'm not really sure how to do this, but I saw um, when I quickly googled it, somebody said Tebow. So we got Tebow, a uh, little dragon claw. I'm actually just going to start off with the claw here. And then uh, I brought thralls in the pouch as well. So we'd be doing that. Okay. Did we make time? I don't know if that was good. Whoa. There we go. Got it done. Cool. Next up, I got a little bit of Cerberus to do on these elites, and I have a uh, Hellhounds test, so that works out pretty well. I need to do 75 kills. I haven't done really any Cerberus on this account, so I think it's going to be close to 75 that we have to do. Uh, gotta kill Cerb. Oh shit. We have to get two rounds of ghosts. Uh, that might just happen if we get like bad hits with getting the 75. Um, shouldn't be taking damage from lava anyways, and uh, we shouldn't take any melee damage. I can just pray melee for one kill. Not a problem. I think there's also one for finishing them off with Demon Bane, so I'm going to try to use the Arc Light here. Maybe we'll get another task. Combat task? Completed. Nope, I must have been thinking of something else. Ooh, Combat task should be completed. Two of them. Yeah, I think, yeah, all I need is uh, 75 kills, and that should be it. Collection log slot completed. Hey, uh, that's a slot, I guess. Those are actually sick. It'll get us, like, right back here. Um, yeah, if it's not a crystal, that's, like, the one of the best drops. Collection log slot completed. Oh, shit. Back to back. Combat task completed. Hell yeah, it's 75 kills. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, this isn't really that bad. Oh, hell yeah. That's like half the log done already. It's not worth shit, but good to get it out of the way after the log. Alright, got a Zami task. Uh, gonna try to learn the 5-0 method. Seems to be pretty good money right now. And I uh, should really just stop skipping all my Zami tasks. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Oh shit, that scared the shit on me. Yeah, apparently, uh, maybe I did do that right and um, didn't hit him. So, what is it? Don't know what that one is for. Grandmaster, though. Is that 20 kills in one? It's got to be like the 20 kills in one trip or something. I'll look it up afterwards. No, that's for not getting hit by any minions. Oh, fuck yeah, we got the 20. We're done! 
For this test, gotta kill Zami with the Demon Spane spell. So what I'm doing here is just the 5 to 0 method while manually casting the Demon Bane spells. Uh, this was actually really tricky because I kept on clicking on the minions. I think this is like my fifth or sixth try. I just kept on planking. Um, yeah, I had a really hard time with this, but this run, uh, we just hit like a truck right off the bat and uh, just took a few rounds to finish them up. Fuck yeah, finally. Dude, we were hitting so good at first. Dude, that feels so good. Woo! I'm getting a little two for one here. Just need to finish Corp off with the Chally. Also need a solo Corp kill, so uh, getting both of them right here. And there we go, that should be the solo. All I have left before the Nightmare is uh, the Jad challenges. The first one that we're gonna be doing here, and honestly, the sweatiest thing I've ever done in this game nope. is going to be the Jad speedrun challenge. The strategy that we're using is you go in with the Dragon Warhammer with Venge, you try to tank his first hit for the biggest Venge you possibly can. You then lower him with your Darax while lowering yourself to uh, one hit points. When the healers spawn, like you just see, you pull out the bulwark and you spec to draw them all to you and then you just finish the fight with Darox, keeping yourself at 1 HP while 1 tick flicking all of his attacks. Maybe? Yes! We got it! Oh shit, by like a lot. Eh, like 6 seconds. Still, I'll take that. And for the second one, I just have to do a melee only. Um, finally! Damn, that took like way too fucking long. Woo! We fucking did it. And that leaves us with six more tests for the elite tier. All of them are the Nightmare of Ashihama, and that is what we are going to be doing next episode.